She had, you know, the, the medical problems, the leg problems. They wanted to re-break her legs in those days and put casts on them, and she wouldn't do it. You know, everybody was shocked that I had this child, I mean, who would walk around and talk to them, but I was only, you know, 18 and 19 years old, and then would walk this kid. It was not a question of she just wanted to do it. She had to do it. That's what dance meant to her. And they're all very good dancers, but you can't keep your eyes off her. For Gwen to be the kind of dancer who can use props, who knows the style, who can act, that's why she got all those Tonys. <laughs> she was 100% in every move she made. She understood rejection. She understood acceptance. Gwen would have done anything for Bob still, I think, artistically. I think it was pretty clear that's where the line was drawn, though. It was Gwen's idea to do Chicago as a musical. When I would mention this play being done as a musical, I mean, every producer who said, anything you want, honey, we'll do it, disappeared. The show's the thing. It must go on. I really think, to me, the best dancer I've ever seen, ever.